Sorry about that. I had the wrong display on. Oops. I have fixed it. I think. Let me know in chat if I haven't. Um, so we do have the second uh, Gaia walking lights being cast on the other Greek player there. And yeah, I probably will see the delayed rage in the stream about uh, me not having the uh, right scene on the stream, but it's fixed. So we have one forest here, one forest here. He could try to, as Pops mentions, use forest on the enemy town center for a little um, forest fire strategy. So they'll have to be aware of that. I don't think they would do that. Um, I doubt it would actually kill a town center. Um, it could kill Popsies, maybe be a possibility, but I don't think they're going to try it. Uh, so this is game one, so we will have a second game um, up shortly here uh, after this one's done. Oh, we are in round three of the regular season. Um, F2 did have a bye in one week, so F2 has only played one match, and I think Lad has played I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they played one or two matches. Um, so the early deconstruct here has probably put Icaro back a little bit. Um, you can see that player is already advancing, whereas Icaro is not advanced yet. But he is advancing now, so it wasn't a huge setback. So what it put him back uh, maybe 20 seconds later than player. So that's not the end of the world. Uh, we do have, I haven't mentioned this yet, we do have the Mediterranean variant where none of the town centers are in water range, so that does make water a slightly less important than normal. Uh, we do have a couple close town centers up here on the top where if somebody gets strong land pressure, they could grab an early, they could get uh, both town centers. Um, so we've got the fancying up to classical age and I anticipate seeing a pretty pretty strong water tech and we have uh, walking woods and Gaia forest being used just to kill one dock I'm not really sure that's worth it um, I mean, it's only 100, was 120 resources for a dock. I think you might as well have just cast it here because you'd kill a, a storehouse with its 50 wood and then probably cause another 70 in villager idle time. So it would probably be just as effective to do it on the storehouse. Uh, we have bolt cast on the carnivora. I don't think that was really needed to be bolted, but they bolted it nonetheless. Um, 7-Up is slow to make uh, boats, though, and over here we see that there is an early 2-on-1 on Pops, so he's going to have to be a little bit careful um, not to lose boats early, which he is. Uh, yeah, this is not a good fight that he wants to fight now. He needs to stay back until 7-Up until, uh, is able to... or not 7-Up, until player is able to move down and again he's got a boat getting unnecessary dock into a boat fire here so we got a little bit okay now we have player showing up and now that player is down here we should see miracle man on the left side go aggressive which he is and seven up does not have very many boats i guess maybe maybe the walk maybe this forest fire was a little more useful than anticipated um, we have a bolt that was used on one oracle and but there's another one right here so I don't that bolt wasn't really too effective um, with players help they are able to defend over here and somehow 7up did force Miracle Man back um, I'm not sure why they're fighting so long here they're on the losing end of the battle right now they need to retreat we have a restoration being used on four seven boats. I don't like that restoration. I, th 
think that restoration was a little bit unnecessary, or a lot unnecessary, actually. Um, I don't... I mean, look, he's now retreating after using restoration. That was an awful use of restoration. Down here we have double restoration being cast, so that just kind of washes out um, the fighting for a few seconds. Uh, they do have the advantage, but player needs to come over here and uh, help out 7-up, I think. Build it. The boat reinforcements here are beneficial, and we have a pause. Oh, one thing I have missed is over here. Um, this is why Miracle Man's boats were not as good as I thought they should be. He's been getting pressured with two Minotaurs right now, um, and an Odysseus, so this Minotaur is causing some problems. And. Oh wow, I can't believe I just saw that. And this Minotaur is causing problems, so that is why he is losing on the water now. It's because of all this. He needs to move his Odysseus, though. And even here, oh wow, this is, this is rough for uh, Miracle Man. He's in some pretty big trouble. Because now, because he has no water, they're getting a triple over on this side. Uh, so this this is huge, and even yet still, he's going to lose another villager. Because this does not is not able to suck up the Minotaur, so it might be able to get a few hits in, but it's going to be another villager dead, and the hero Mermillo down here is dead. Back to the water battle. Oh my goodness, he's going to lose another villager. Things are falling apart for Miracle Man. Do have some idle ships here. Uh, so we do see initially we are seeing F2 getting pushed back, but with this damage done to this economy up here, he's going to lose a third villager. Oh, the Minotaur. Uh, ha, ha. Player's busy on the land. He could have killed a third villager there. Either way, two villagers and then the third one here. That's huge. And you can see he's not having any pressure on land at all, um, is Mr. Miracle Man. So that was huge. Um, really helped 7-Up get the time he needed to get back on water. Though he really, 7-Up doesn't have much going for him, even, even so. Even on this side, uh, Lad is pushing TS or TSM. I'm saying TSM because of the player. Lad's pushing up two back. So overall, despite all that help, seven up is still not doing well. I mean, he has no boats. Like, where's what is he doing? He has nothing at all. Well, that's really quite surprising. Like, he should have a huge advantage with what happened with Miracle Man. And player lost a lot of boats there for no reason. You, you do see he's got a second town center. Uh, my Caro is getting two town centers, but we have some Prometheus down here <laughs> causing mayhem. <laughs> Each little Prometheus will kill a villager. That you can't complain about at all. I just don't know what 7-Up is doing with his boat production. Like, he has nothing. Like, 7-Up is inexplicably way behind. Player is now having his third town center being built. So he's going to be, as typical, player is going to be a huge force to be reckoned with. Yeah, 7-Up has no water economy at all. Uh, he does have a few boats over here, but they're all woefully idle. And green and purple are just looking at each other across across the sea. Let's see what Seven Up's trying to do. He is trying to get land pressure so he can grab the two town centers here. 
Um, and you want the man who has the front town center, then also holds the back town center. So that is what he's trying to do. And since they are just doing nothing down here, green is coming up. Um, there are going to be other trap. If you keep, well, green needed to keep going here and trap these boats. Since purple is woefully out of position. Yeah, green getting some sh shoots and shots in, but not as much as he could have. We are forcing a carnivora just used in defense. Um, and now red is going down to fight down there. 7-Up can do some damage here on land, um, but he is walking past this massive amount of villagers. I guess he is checking the town center, which is a logical thing to do. Um, Green's losing a lot of boats here, like for absolutely no reason at all. up has just the one town center that he has grabbed. He has not grabbed a second yet. Okay, now he, he should be able to kill two villagers here with relative ease and maybe even get a third. Alright, that's one. Okay. If you can block that one, he isn't. Oh, just before. So that's three villagers down right there. Um, he needs to be careful with his military here, though. They're all shooting at a tower. I mean, you see, Icaro has said that he is uh, stopping water aggression. Okay, now he has noticed and is firing at, uh, well, mostly some of these guys are still shooting at the banner. Alright, so it looks like yellow is going to be going on this side. Uh, this is a little bit uh, optimistic here. Uh, grabbing a town center without having an army. And then Blue's army is right here. Miracle Man is having a pretty rough go of things at the start of the game. And so water is kind of ending without much being contested right now. Um, a little bit of raids here. And T player will end up pushing Miracle Man off of the water. Miracle Man, he's in a uh, pretty rough pretty rough shape right now uh, he's only got one town center he's lost one two five villagers six villagers I think technically they're citizens I suppose we should call them by their appropriate terminology um, man just notice this park your army right here no who don't oh uh, well but anyway Miracle Man has been pushed off water. He has been pushed off his back town center. He has been pushed off his wood. He is, though, now 7-up. trying. I think he will be able to get this before Yellow notices, so that's that's good. Here, Pops was able to grab his forward without much of an issue. S player, seeing that Yellow is on this side, is building forward. Um, I think this game will not go well for Lad, just based on how far behind, behind Miracle Man is. Um, you see he's at one town center, 1600 points, compared to his Atlantean counterpart who's at three town centers, 25, with water, and he does not. And then you see Player is well ahead of everybody else, so I think this will end up being a fairly short Mediterranean game here. I mean, he's not even grabbing his town center yet. Miracle Man is just having a pretty rough, pretty rough go of things early on. Um, we have the villagers hanging out with the army. Let's look at texts. Player is probably advancing to Mythic. Yeah, H4 Hephaestus already. Popsy is advancing to Heroic. And we have what's going to be a pretty strong push here on this forward town center. They probably will be able to get it. Because uh, player does not have an army yet. 
this battered old board, this board, or or ram, Eurus, not done anything yet. He died without ever putting in a single pound on the town center. So the town center's down, but this aggression I think is short lived. I don't think they'll push past uh, all of this. This mana core is doing some pretty significant work too, though right now he isn't because he's just shooting at the uh, hero. Initially he was doing work. We have a satyr, it's down here. So yeah, this is an, a good initial push by them, but poor Miracle Man is just so far behind. I think once you get some Myrmidons coming out here, it's going to be pretty much pretty quick to be in over on this side. Uh, we did have Chaos Pops use Chaos up here. And we have just kind of a stalemate down here where purple and green are just kind of looking at each other, same as they did on the water. And we have an underworld. Purple did make an underworld to come up here to help out. So, Pops needs to be aggressive. Where's the other half of his underworld? <laughs> I don't think there is another half. I think he put it too close to the water and uh, it didn't show up. I have to say, I don't think I've seen that bug happen before, but I'm guessing he tried to put it up here and it, it thought it could be placed when in fact it couldn't. So unfortunately that's kind of a underworld that cannot be used. Not that it would change much. I mean, look at players at 5,000 points already. I mean, he's more than double Miracle Man score. He's researching Secret of Titans. <laughs> These two guys are like playing Farmville down here. Pops says used vortex on idle villagers. One thing to note is that this is Mediterranean with the low amount of gold spawns. So what we have here are no bat gold anymore. Um, just this one. And that's about it. Same thing on this side. There's not much bat gold to be had anymore. Pretty much all of it is going to be right here. Wow, 7-Up really has this well fortified. Alright, so we've got him down here applying pressure to the back town center. If he gets the Sika Gigantes attacking it, he should be able to put it down. Uh, we do have a hero being trained though. Yeah, no, we just have Zeus's incredible late game starting to come through. He does not have any... okay, I was on the wrong person. He is getting... oh, he has switched and gone up here. This is a good idea. Oh, if he can get this town center, we're at 20%. If he attacks it, he will prevent the mythic gauge from being reached, at least for now. Looks like he's going to, I think. Alright, he does not have frost. Yeah, this town center, unfortunately, oh, he already canceled the upgrade and is putting it up in here now. So, a good decision. Purple is slow to help out. And he'll probably come over here and get this town center too. Um, he'll be able to kill this one as well, I would think. And right now, any... Uh, villager that he kills is one less Ragnarok to deal with. I see Wookiees ask about the score. This is the first match, so it is zero to zero. Uh, I think it is going to be pretty shortly one to zero for F2's favor. 
So this town center will go down as well. He will get Balder up, though. I think it'll go down. He's got some hero. Yeah, it'll go down. It's about over. And I would think once this goes down, he might Vortex back here. He tried to do Chaos on this, and he did not get the uh, Colossus. That would have been beneficial. Alright, I guess he doesn't really need to cast Vortex. His army is dead anyway. So we are an 89, 90, almost 100% Balder for Ragnarok that won't do much, unfortunately. The <laughs> player is just having a good game. Yeah. Uh, so that was a uh, pretty quick Mediterranean game. Um, really just initiated by the very poor start by Miracle Man getting the two uh, two Minotaurs on his base and then Odysseus killed three villagers early on and then he had a couple more killed by the early land raid um, but yeah, this player as typical just had a pretty phenomenal Mediterranean he's got the Mediterranean macro down pretty pretty well and yeah why did Miracle Man have the low scores because at the start of the game he lost uh, a few, uh, three villagers here citizens here he lost